Natalie Cross says it's not a coincidence in her mind that this post about, uh, well, stuff having to do with Russians as celebrities and torturing American soldiers and stuff. And the fact that it was 3.16 when I looked at the clock. The witching hour is 3.15. I used to wake up at 3.15 like almost every, every in the middle of the night, every night. Or I'd stay up at 3.15 till about when the sun came up. On nights I was keeping a vigil on the night, which some nights were satanic holidays that I knew about. And some were just, I had the sense to stay awake. Face of the moon? Oh, every full moon. I didn't dig through that. I took it this afternoon. <laughs> Details. If um, Tsar Nicholas and Tsarina Alexandra, or just Tsar Nicholas, were good guys, then the beginning of this whole procedure to invade the United States undercover, invade the United States, and then have um, you know, sleeper agents or something, um, could have started by been started by the Bolsheviks, aren't they? Well, there are people that are cause, 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 cause. Oh, Rasputin was the name of the mystic that. Alexandra uh, trusted to help her son.
Bolshevik's definition. A member of the majority faction of the Russian Social Democratic Party, which was renamed the Communist Party after seizing power in the October Revolution of 1917. So the invasion of the United States took place in 1920. The Communist Party seized power in the October Revolution of 1917. The Bolsheviks, also known in English as the Bolshevists, were a radical far-left and revolutionary Marxist faction founded by Vladimir Lenin and Alexander Bogdan Bogdanov. Bogdanov. That could be related to Bogdanovich, the director, producer, something that was married to Peter Bogdanovich, I think. Married to Sybil Shepherd in the 70s or something. Marxist faction founded by Vladimir Lenin and Alexander Bogdanov that split from the Menshevik <laughs> faction of the Marxist Russian Social Democratic Labor Party, I guess. Oh, the Bolsheviks were founded 1903 in Brussels, Belgium, operating areas Russia, Bogdanov. Should. So, how did the Bolsheviks take over Russia? The situation climaxed with the October Revolution in 1917, a Bolshevik led armed insurrection by workers and soldiers in Petrograd that successfully overthrew the provisional government transferring all its authority to the Soviets. They soon related, relate, relocated the national capital to Moscow. I believe the Tsar and Tsarina and their family were assassinated in 1918. Overthrown and assassinated. Menshevik could be mensch. That could be Jewish mensch. You know, you're a mensch. Vladimir Lenin is the one who led the Bolshevik Revolution. During the Russian Revolution, the Bolsheviks, led by leftist revolutionary Vladimir Lenin, seized power and destroyed the tradition of Tsarist rule. The Bolsheviks would later become the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Is the Bolshevik Revolution the same as the Russian Revolution? 
Russian Revolution, also called Russian Revolution of 1917, two revolutions in 1917, the first of which in February overthrew the imperial government, and the second of which in October placed the Vol Bolsheviks in power. Vladimir Lenin during the Russian Revolution, 1917. So the Bolsheviks could be the source of all the horrible things in the United States. I still hate Americans. So we could have be at the root of it. So just to figure out how did the Russians invade American society? There is a movie called Telephone. It was made in the late 60s or early 70s or something. It's about how ordinary people were programmed and they'd get telephone calls that triggered them into their Russian agency, Russian agent personalities or something. And they would go pack their bags and leave their families and go do whatever they were assigned to do, blow up a bridge or whatever. Telephone, T-E-L-F-O-N. I'm going to stop recording and label this Bolsheviks. <laughs> 